Hello and welcome back to Train Sim World 4, my friends. My name is LaserJet, and today we are at Doncaster, the birthplace of Flying Scotsman and also the Class A4s. Just thought I'd add that in there. But today in Train Sim World 4, I am on free roam. I thought I'd give this a go and show you guys uh, what it's like and see if it's any good. Um, so we are at platform. What, pla I don't know, what platform are we at? Um, that's not the platform number. Oh, here we go. Platform 3B. I know nothing about platform 3A or 3B or 3C or whatever. Um, but uh, today I'm going to be driving uh, Flying Scotsman again because now that I've actually had a look at Scotsman. I think now is time for a speed test to see how fast I can actually get Scotsman to go. Uh, how, how fast I can make it go, that's what I'm trying to say. And I don't think it's a wise idea to be walking on the tracks. So let's go back on the platform. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a speed test today and actually see how fast I can get the flying Scotsman to go. That's, that's what we're, that, that is our task today. So if you're new to the Leisure YouTube channel, why not click that subscribe button, turn the bell notification as well, so stay notified to the channel, it's just a click of a button. <laughs> Now, first things first is we need to spawn in our train. Now, in order to do that, we need to press tab and then click on uh, spawn new train. And we've got quite a selection to choose from here. We've got uh, a class 801. Uh, I want to spawn that in because I haven't actually um, seen what this looks like yet. So, uh, spawn in uh, a 9 coach one. And oh, and this thing will pop up, and this is actually quite clever. Hey, can I? Yeah, you can like put on any track you want, but if it lights up in red, it means oh wait, no, you can't spawn it there. Um, so I think we press X to spawn train. So we pop that in, or we'll drop that in. Sorry, it should load up there. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh my god. <gasps> and can I just spawn in another one? Let me just uh, hold on. Uh, Respawn last. Oh, so it lets you respawn the same thing that you just placed down last time. Oh, that's clever. Can I put down another one? Oh, so can, can I put down as many as I can? <gasps> yeah, that is cool. I've got a whole fleet of uh, class 801s. And if we press tab again, uh, we can delete them. Are you sure you want to delete this? Yes, we'll delete that. Delete that. Oh, yes. So you can spawn down any train you want and put them anywhere you want. That's fantastic. That that is a really cool feature. That I think that's what Train Sim World was missing all this time. So we could put down, uh, for example, could, we could put down like an American train. Let's see if that works. Because apparently you can spawn anything you want. Yeah, <laughs> you, so you can put anything you want down. Oh, that is that is amazing. Anyway, let's stop mucking about. Uh, we need to spawn in uh, our train. So. Uh, I think we'll, we'll spawn it on this platform. So what, what are we looking for? Flying Scotsman. There you are. And what, uh, we're going to be doing a speed test. So I think we'll have Scotsman. But I think we should have Scotsman with only one coach today. Because uh, we'll only have it with her support coach. Now theoretically, if you uncouple a, um, a set from the train you want to drive. Uh, where's the uncoupler? There it is. So if we uncouple you guys... And now that's uncoupled. If we press tab again and delete train. Yes. So this stays there and the rest of the train goes. Good. That's what I want to do. So we've got Scotsman and her support coach. Fantastic. That's that's what we want. It's so every time I see Scotsman, I always get overexcited just seeing her in Train Sim World. It's amazing. So anyway, let's climb aboard, close the doors, and let's get driving. Now, we can't just board and then just drive wherever we want. We actually have to set a... Um, uh, like a destination of where we want to go. Now, in order to do that, if we press 9, then click on Scotsman, it says set path. There's set path, that's what we want to do. And we're in up here, up in Doncaster, and we want to go all the way down here to Peterborough. Uh, so I think if we go on here, set destination, confirm. Good, and then we should get all green lights. Uh, yep, it just popped up in the top right corner. So now we won't, we won't have any red signals. It'll just be all clean and green. Clean and green. I quite like the sound of that. 
but before we get going, want to put our lamps on. <laughs> we've got how amazing this is. Um, so yeah, our task today is to see how fast we can get the Flying Scotsman. Now, I, I don't know how fast we're going to get it, but I want to set a goal and go 100 miles per hour. That's what I want to do. That, that, I'm setting a goal. I want to get to 100 miles per hour. In fact, no, we have to get to 100 miles per hour. So, uh, brakes off, reverse up, forward, um, small injector on, large injector on, brakes off, uh, train pipe going up. That looks good. We'll turn the large injector off, uh, fire on, dampers on, and I think we are ready to go. So, do a little toot of the whistle. Oh, that sounds amazing. Okay, uh, focus Oliver, let's get moving. Uh, let's give us a bit of throttle. Oh, wow, this thing accelerates quite fast. And away we go, we are off. So it should be downhill all the way from Doncaster to Peterborough. So using gravity should uh, should help us gain some more speed. So I'm going to put the reverser down to about 45%. And then put the regulator up on full. There we go. So uh, pressure looks good. Steam is good. Water's good. Uh, everything looks good, I think. Things are looking good so far. Okay, here we are on the main line and uh, looking at our speed. We're just about to hit 80 miles per hour. So already uh, we are breaking our limited speed limit, which is, you know, 75 miles per hour. All steam engines in the UK are only limited to 75. Let's get a nice uh, pass-by shot of uh, Scotsman doing over 80 miles per hour. Oh, there's a bridge in the way. Ah, uh, I've ruined the perfect shot. Ah, uh, never mind. Uh, let's go back inside. Um, oh, we've hit. We've just gone past 90. And according to my speedometer, we're doing 93 miles per hour. Because I'm using my rail driver to, you know, drive this thing. And it's got a little speedometer thing. Which, is, you know, it's very clever. But it says we're doing 94 now. Oh, 98 miles per hour. We're already close of hitting, uh, hitting 100. We're going to hit it any second now, guys. I mean, here it comes in three, two, one. 100. Yeah. We've, all, we've done it. We've hit 100 miles per hour. That is... That is pretty fast, especially, you know, for a steam engine. And look at it. This is a real Scotsman now hitting 100 miles per hour. We get, like, a nice close-up of the uh, of the wheels. Oh, that is cool. Let me just press F1. There we go. Oh, that is nice. I mean, yes, I mean, I, I know I'm only pulling one coach. But, but you know, maybe, maybe next time I'll do a, a full express and try and hit 100 while pulling, you know, like, you know 12 coaches or something. I don't know. But, um... But, oh no, we're doing 105. We're doing 105. 106. Oh my god, hold on. 109. There's no way it'll be hit 110. Oh no, we've hit 110. There's no way we'll get to 112, though. That's the same as Sinatra Gresley's record. I mean, that'd be, like, impossible. We, we surely not. No, there it is. 112. We're doing 112 miles per hour. No, 113. We are going faster than Sinatra Gresley now. I mean, we are going downhill, but. 116. Um, we're, we're not going to get to. Like, we're not going to get past Mallard's record, which is, I believe, is 126 miles per hour. Like, I mean, we're we're completely off the scale at the moment. Um, 118. Can we actually beat Mallard's record? That would be quite interesting, would it? I want to try and do that. Let, let's let's beat Mallard's record with the Flying Scotsman. I don't know how that's going to be possible, though, but we're going to give it a try. And I'm surprised how steady it is inside the cab. It's actually not... It's like... I'd expect to be bouncing and wobbling around like like crazy, but... It's, it's, it's very stable. Surprisingly, Scotsman is very stable. Oh, no, we're going uphill now. That's not good. That is definitely not good. We, um... We need to be going downhill so we can get some speed. And we're doing 124. We're two miles per hour away of hitting Mallard's record. We want to like lean out the window, get a nice shot. Oh, that, that is a nice shot. I'll zoom in a little bit. See the smoke deflector. And, and the shade of green on the boiler is just... The, the lighting is just amazing in this. I cannot wait to make 
some more like you know videos on this game like i have to say like i've said this in my last video now that's got my favorite steam engine in the world in it and it's in you know in in my favorite livery it's gonna be very hard for me to um go back to train to let classic oh no we're doing 127 we've beaten mallard's record we're doing 127 i've beaten mallard's record in the flying scotsman oh wait no 128 no 129 Ooh, nearly 130. I reckon we can go faster. In fact, if I just leave Scotsman, like, unattended. Now, no one's driving it. Let's go through the uh, corridor tender. And I want to see if I can actually go through the tender into the coach while, like, doing 100 and something miles per hour. Oh, I can. Ooh, this is nice. Well, I'll learn something new every day there, Mr. Oliver. Yes, you do. Right, let's head back to uh, Scotsman. Um, I think that's the toilet. We don't want to go that way. Uh, close the door. We'll close both doors. Press C to crouch. Walk through the corridor a bit. Oh, this, that is so cool. Like, I, I, I still can't get used to that. Like, that is just amazing. Uh, right, let's sit back down. How fast are we going now? 132 miles per hour. 132! Oh, look at those wheels. I'm going to get like a... Like a, like a cool close-up shot of those wheels. Oh, that is fast. That is super fast. Let's do like a... Oh, my God. I can't believe how fast that is. Oh. I've just... Oh, I've just knocked a, a key off my keyboard. It's the control button. You don't know you can see that up close? I've, um, knocked that off my keyboard. That's okay. I'll just have to... Pop that back in. There you go. All fixed. Yet again, we are still going uphill, but we're still speeding up at 135 miles per hour. I can't all believe how fast this thing's going. Oh, wait, no. 134. We're starting to slow down, but again, we are going uphill. Once we get more closer to um, uh, Peterborough, I, I know the name. Oh, whistle sign. Let's do the two at the whistle. Uh, once we get closer to Peterborough, it should be going to be doing go go. Uh, the, 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 the. We should be going downhill once we get closer to Peterborough, because at the moment we're like 57 miles away. I mean, we were about 75 miles away, but the fact that we're now 57 miles, we've we've actually come quite far. Oh, oh my God, we we were we were like there. Like, a few minutes ago, and now I'm all the way down there. So I've gone from... So I've gone from there to there in, like, no time at all. That is, inc that is remarkably clever. That goes, that goes to show how far Scotsman really is. She's really stretching her legs now. Um, let's see if I try and move to the other side. There we go. Oh, <laughs> that is nice. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm never going to get used to this. Like... This will never get old, and to be honest, I hope it never gets old, because I can do this all day. We're speeding up again, doing 138 miles per hour. We've sped up from 132 to 138, just like that. That is remarkable. Oh my god, we're about to hit 140, guys. Can we do it? 139, we can get to 140. Ooh, there it is, 140! I'm doing 140 miles per hour in the Flying Scotsman. You know, at this rate, we could actually get... Oh, my God. Could we actually get to 200 in Flying Scotsman? Because, look, we're nearly doing 150, which means we only need another 50 to get to 200. Nah, nah that's, 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 that's just silly. I mean, there's no way Scotsman will ever get to 200 miles per hour. Or will it? Oh, my God. Look at this. I'm doing 154 miles per hour. I'm going faster than most old-fashioned diesel locomotives. Um, I mean, it's saying in the top right corner that I've got yellow signals, and it's telling me to slow down. <laughs> Dream on. Oh, wait. No, it's changed from yellow to green. We've got all greens. Let's go, go, go. I mean, pass through cities, towns, villages, countryside, factories, and level crossings. How am I doing this? And look at this. Now doing 160. A4 Mallard in your face. <laughs> I mean, look at this. I'm now doing 170 miles per hour. We're 70 miles per hour off the scale. So, like, the needle should be, like, going... I mean, I, I, I'm surprised that this thing is, like, hasn't, like... 
stopped working yet. And this is amazing, about 15, 20 minutes ago, I was like 75 miles from Peterborough. I'm now 37 miles away. That's a huge difference. I mean, at this speed, I should be there in about 20 minutes. Oh, we're going uphill again. I don't think we'll be able to hit the uh, the 200 mile per hour mark. Although, I'm I'm shocked it's even going this fast. I mean, just to let you guys know that I'm not cheating. Like I haven't got, I haven't got like a diesel on the back that's like pushing me or anything. It's just Scotsman and her support coach. Well, brake coach, but I'm using her as a support coach. But there you go. I mean, I'm not like I, I'm, 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 the point is I'm not cheating. I'm not like having a diesel on the back that's pushing me or anything. I'm just using pure steam power. Oh, this is fast. This is fast. 172 miles per hour. I mean, still going uphill, which is slightly bad. But once we get closer, I mean, I think we've gone past the halfway mark now. So once we get about this area, it'll be downhill all the way. I'm sure of it. And hopefully that might help me get some more speed. I mean... I don't really need more speed, but like, you know, I'm just curious to, to just to see how fast I can get this thing. I mean, so far, 172 is is my record so far. And there we go, back at 170 miles per hour. It's a bit, you know, I've been stuck at 170 for a while now. I want to see if we try and get to 180. I mean, I know that's that's really pushing it, but yeah, like, you know, you know, like, you know, if you believe something will happen, it will happen. You just gotta believe as hard as you can. And, you know, I'm not a quitter. I'm a believer. I mean, come on, we've all seen the Polar Express. Oh, I think believing is working. We're at 177. This is the fastest I've ever been so far. No, 178. Oh, I think we could hit. Okay, we're gonna hit 180. We're just, we're just two mile per hour away. Come on. 179. Oh, come on. Yeah, let's get to 180. We're going down here. We'll get to Bosh! 180! There you go! Which means we're only 20 miles per hour away of hitting 200. That, that is, like, impossible. There's no way Flying Scotsman can, can go 200 miles per hour. There's no way. Let's get, like, another close-up of the wheels. Those wheels are really spinning fast. That's like a... <laughs> This thing is absolutely, this thing's amazing at speed, and and, and that, this is what the Flying Scotsman was built for. This was a speedy engine, this thing was designed for speed, but obviously not this much speed. Speaking of speed, we've just hit 191, which means we're, no, 192, we're going to hit 200. Oh my god, I cannot believe this, this is, we're, we're doing the impossible, we're going to hit 200 miles per hour in Flying Scotsman. We're 15 miles away from Peterborough, 194, come on. One nine four, oh, one nine five. There it was. Five miles per hour away of getting to two hundred. How fast is this thing now? <laughs> oh my god, that thing is so fast. How is this thing moving so quickly? What no one se one nine seven? Come on, we're almost there. Come on, come on. What? <laughs> come on, we're gonna. I can't believe it's going this fast. Come on, one nine nine. With one mile per hour away. One nine nine. Come on, get to two hundred. It's there it is! 200 miles per hour! I am driving Flying Scotsman, the greatest steam engine of them all, at 205 miles per hour. 205! But I think 213. Yeah, there it is, 213. Okay, get to 214. Let's see. I mean, our destination is inside. I see it. There we go. We've got yellow signals. And I've got a red up ahead. Um, two four two two fourteen. All right, two fourteen. This is the fastest I dare go. Come on, is is this the fastest I dare go? Two fifteen. There's two fifteen, and the scenario has ended. I did. I you guys saw that right? I did two hundred and fifteen miles per hour. You guys saw that right? It was. It's on. It's on recording anyway. But there we go. Uh, our first speed run on uh, the East Coast Main Line in Train Sim Mode Four. Um, and yeah. Got Scotsman to 215 miles per hour. I mean, if it did that in real life, it'd probably shake itself to pieces. But I guess that concludes this video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on as well so you stay notified to the channel. Because, you know, it's just a click of a button. Click subscribe now. You won't regret it. But thank you again so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.
I could be an expert at this stuff. Um, oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Maybe.